Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Obviously, we are playing with the brand spanking new Nomad Cosmetics Fuji Five Lakes Palette. Intense color palette. I am ridiculously excited for this. It is so pretty. So I thought I could yammer at you for a minute and insert the clips or clip and photos that I took for Instagram here while I yammer. I'm sure you've seen tons of videos already for this. I'm no longer on Nomad's PR list, so I get the palettes when they launch and can be purchased. And I could not wait for this one. The Hudson Valley palette is one of my, probably one of my favorite palettes of ever. It's mine and Shawnee's Meet Cute palette. And I just, I love that palette. The reds are gorgeous. The matte red in that palette is the best matte red I have ever put on my eyes. So when they started teasing this palette, I got really, really excited. The texture on the front of this the whole thing is just amazing. It's so nice. Even the, this part right here on the back is textured. It's got three little leaves. It says Nomad Cosmetics, Fuji Five Lakes Intense Color Palette. The border is textured, the whole edge, it's just beautiful. I've never touched an oil painting, but I hear it's the same texture as this palette. And the inside just looks so fun and yummy, and I cannot wait to play with this. I had an idea for what I thought would be fun almost as soon as I saw the palette reveal. So that's what I'm going to attempt today. <laughs> I got my face mostly done. I painted my nails with yellow solar nail polish that turns orange when I'm cold. And the red is um, red to brown. Both nail polishes are from Polished and Pretty, which is MBA Cosmetics nail polish line. Love, love, love them. The nail polishes are fantastic. It's my go-to. Anytime there's a sale, or things go on clearance, I, I definitely order a lot, too much, I know, but it's nail polish and it gets used um, several times a week, most of the time. So um, I did my nails to match the palette, sort of. I put on my little sunshine and a donut because, you know, fall makes me think sunshine and donuts. I don't know if it's because the orchard that we have here makes apple cider donuts on the weekends, but anyway, sunshine and donuts is what I put in my ears and I'm very excited for this. I'm going to play and just have a good time with you. Hopefully you're into that. I made my headband. Uh, I asked Jackson if it was cute or goofy and he said it's both. I just got some little pine cones and fake little like styrofoam pumpkins and some nail glue and glued them to this headband. I don't know. I don't have anything for fall. I don't have earrings or a hat or a headband or I mean I have hats. Of course I have hats. Um, but wearing hats when I'm filming could be tricky. Maybe I'll try it. Let me know what you think. So uh, yeah, I am super ready. Hopefully you are too. use one of the shades as a blush and one as a highlighter. So let's do that first. I do have a little bit of MAC Melba on for a blush just because I thought it looked a little weird completely naked. Um, so let's just like go into, we have to use Burning Bush, right? Also, I'm only going to pronounce the names that I can. I 
really, really don't like uh, messing up names of things. I need to put my mirror where I can see it. That would really help in my not looking uh, ridiculous when I'm done. So let me scooch all the things. That's really pretty. I went in for just a tiny bit more, like just the lightest amount. And I'm going to bring it up to my eye because it's going to go with the look. That is so pretty. What a great shade. The problem with the headband though is it keeps trying to slip slide away. Okay. Same thing on this side. Just a little bit more. I'm being super gentle. I don't want to hurt the skin around my eyes. Wow, I really, really like that shade. It looks super red in pan, but it definitely has like a pink undertone. Yay! Now we need a highlight shade. The obvious, okay, so that's the matte that I used for my blush. The obvious highlight shade is this one, but I wonder if this one or this one will work if it's like super light-handed. I'm gonna try the Pappas grass, which is like the neutral sparkly shade. I could just show you, that would make things significantly better for you probably that shade right there I'm just dipping in like the tiniest bit with this Wayne Goss number four and shooshing it right there I think that works I don't know if it would work as well if you were not close to my skin tone but with my skin tone and the depth of my tan or <laughs> my foundation because my face doesn't tan. That totally works. <clears throat> Yay! I'm gonna quickly whack on some more of my lip gloss. I'm using the Unearthly Psych lip gloss because orange and, you know, kind of goes along with the palette. <clears throat> I'm so excited for this. Yep. I'm sure you won't find this surprising at all, but I think this is probably going to be the next Blue Monday video that I do because it just seems like the right thing to do. Okay, so uh, for my look, I want to use Burning Bush and the other matte red again. I totally did not drop anything just now. I caught it. The box and the little postcard that always comes with the palettes. So I want to use probably all of the reds, I think. Definitely this yellow shimmer and perhaps this dark bluish shade if I need more depth. I want to try and do a cut crease again. I did one last day and I thought it worked pretty well. So I'm going to stop yammering and get into applying these. I'm gonna go into the darker, like maroon shade uh, ever so carefully on my refer number 12. It's um, like a fat stubby pencil brush. And I wanna use the reds on the outer half of my eye and then use that yellow shimmer shade as like my cut crease. I, I really think that's gonna look nice. I've obviously watched some videos because I could not, but I haven't seen anyone do that. 
So hopefully it's something different that you haven't seen a hundred times already. That was kind of the upside. Well, I mean, there's lots of upsides, but one of the big bonuses about getting PR from Nomad was that I could do a video and pretty much any eye look and it wouldn't have been done 20 bazillion times already. So, but that's okay. Other people get the palette and do looks and it's so exciting. I love that Nomad does that. I do still have a code with them if you are thinking of picking something up and wanted to get a little bit of a discount, it would work. All right, now I'm gonna go with my Refer 13 into the Burning Bush shade. Again, super carefully. And I wanna use that as my blending shade. At first, I wondered if this shade, Burning Bush, would be like the one that was in Hudson Valley, the red in Hudson Valley. And then I figured, well, probably not, right? Because that already exists. It would be foolish to do the exact same shade again, even though I love it so much. So I'm glad that it is different. Like I said, it definitely pulls a bit pink where the Hudson Valley doesn't. It is a red eyeshadow. And sometimes eyeshadows will pull, uh, sometimes a red eyeshadow will pull pink if you use uh, lighter shades, a pink with a red. But if you're looking for a red to stay red, blending out with an orange eyeshadow helps it to stay red and not turn pink. So I'm just going to get that blended and really soften up the outer edge and it will turn pink, which is fine. That's exactly what I thought would happen. I mean, so far, <laughs> it's just beautiful. Wow. On this Blend Bunny B6. It's just a bit fluffier. I'm gonna go back into the darker maroon shade and just kind of blend. One of my favorite things about Nomad Eyeshadow is that it's easy to use. Anybody can use it and make it work, I think. If uh, a matte is looking weird or patchy, I have found that just adding a bit more is the answer to making it not weird and patchy. I think most of us assume, you know, blend it more and that would be the answer, but it really is just adding a tiny bit more and blending it out. It's just lovely. All right, going back into the maroon shade with the first brush, the refer number 12. And I'm really just going to kind of stamp that in here. I need this portion to be very deep so it uh, works with the cut of the cut crease. It doesn't have a depth. You're just blending shades together. There's no real cut crease action happening. And again, I may not be able to do the cut crease. Maybe I would, maybe it was an accident that it worked the first time. I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, going back in with the Refer 13 in the red shade called Burning Bush. I think I know what that is. I think we have them here. If it is the same thing, it's a bush that is red and turns yellow, or dark orange and turns yellow, something like that. My stepsister would know. Tamara, if you watch this, let us know. She is my plant person. She taught me a lot about 
plants and things like that. All right, I really, really like that. Do we need more depth? I feel like now is the time to figure it out before I attempt the cut crease. I think I'm going to skip it because in my head, I'm going to play with this palette again several more times. If you don't want to see it, you should let me know now and I won't film it. But if you do want to see it, you should let me know now because I'm definitely going to film it. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Right here, like this. I'm going to go off camera, cut the crease, if you will, um, reapply a little bit of eye primer. And then we'll come, I'll come back and put on that beautiful shimmery yellow called Golden Ginkgo. Okay, I'm back and my crease is cut. I think it looks okay. I don't know. We'll see. But I've pulled out two brushes that I think will work for this next part. My Davina D106 and my Refer O2 Mini. So I'm going to use the mini for the golden ginkgo shade. Um, I've already wet it. I just, I don't want to get fallout since my face is done. So let's see. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. When I swatched this, it seemed opaque enough that it wouldn't need a base, but if you wanted it to be not as opaque, um, a slightly fluffy brush that is dry would definitely give you that, but I want opaque. I could have put the yellow underneath it, but I wanted to do this and see how that worked out. Okay, that's, I'm loving this so much. I'm just gonna slowly keep adding this and then I'm going to use the shimmery red shade to blend the yellow into the red mattes. That looks so cool. I'm so excited for this. In my head, it was pretty cool, but uh, I wasn't sure how it would work out on my eyes. Okay, now we're going into the fiery maple, which is the red shimmer. And that will go right out here. Because my eyes are hooded, I have to be aware of the shape and how I put them on so it doesn't look bad. But so far, so good. That is a beautiful fiery maple shade. I mean, that's like the perfect shade name. Oop, okay, calm down. That was a little bit aggressive. Okay, just wet it a little bit more. I really, really think that's working. <laughs> All right, so now it's gonna be a lot of back and forth with the yellow shimmer and the red shimmer. So we can blend the two. Shimmers blend together very easily as a rule anyway, but we know yellow and red Totally mix well. 
yeah that's really really nice i'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the red shimmer fiery maple and that's gonna go there and we'll go back in with the maroon shade the darkest of uh, the matte reds to make sure oh wow that was easy to make sure that has a nice smooth blend as well oh yeah wow look at that okay i'm gonna go off camera real quick do my other eye liner mascara then i'll come back and show you the look and we'll decide if i need or i'll decide if i need lashes since you are of zero help to me right now <laughs> all right i'll be right back all right i'm back and everything is done let me zoom you in for an up close reconnoiter I so like this. I had this idea in my head and I actually did what I kind of thought, which is mind blowing because I am not a makeup artist. I had like, you know, I don't know things. I'm just winging it over here. Uh, but I think it came out so cool. I really like this and I cannot wait to play with this more. Uh, like I said, there's definitely gonna be more looks. I think I absolutely have to use the blues for my next Blue Monday. I used this yellow, oh, hold on. <laughs> I used this yellow and this yellow on my lower lash line and the brighter of the two, this middle one. Can I say that name? No. Um, that's my inner corner highlight shade, which I really like. It's matte, but it's bright. I just put it on with a small pencil brush and it just looks good. It's not at all uh, washed out or, you know, not glaringly obvious. I don't know, I'm excited. I really like this. I just, you know, Oh, I broke it. Oh, good. Oh I, th oh, I stabbed it. I do think the eye look kind of goes with my nails. So that's really fun. Uh, I have to fix that shade now since I stabbed it. That's a bummer, but I like the look. I can't wait to hear what you think. Did you pick up this palette? Are you waiting for Haunted Europe? <laughs> both Haunted Europe and Ghost Town will be back. So yeah, I don't know. I, we all know I'm a huge fan of Nomad. The humans, the brand, just everything. They donate a portion to really worthy causes. Like there's just no bad. So anyway, I'm going to stop prattling on because boy, howdy. Ah, uh, but if you are going to order from Nomad, use somebody's code. Like I said, I have one. Shawnee, ha there's tons. Shawnee has one. There's lots of them out there. Use somebody's or wait for the really big sale they do around Black Friday-ish. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it like this. No lashes, nothing, just mascara. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.